Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am answering your questions and yeah, let's get started. So I put something up on my Instagram. Sorry if you can hear Nolan, he is in his swing right over there. Only way I can get videos done. So yes, I put something up on my Instagram and asked you guys to ask me some questions and I got a couple people responding, which I was kind of expecting because um, I don't have too many followers, but I wanted to give that opportunity to you guys. So I got a bunch of questions, but just from a couple people. So um, thank you for the people that actually responded with some questions. If you guys watch these videos and want more questions, question and answer videos, leave your questions down below in this video and then I will take those questions and make a new video if I get enough questions. And I am willing to pretty much answer anything. Um, obviously there probably are some kind of boundaries, but um, anything mommy related, baby related, personal that you want to know, um, yeah, just leave them down below and I will try to get those into a next video. So I have my phone with the questions and the first one comes from Miriam and Melody, and she actually has a YouTube channel. So I will have that link down below. You guys can go check her out. Um, her question was, what is your favorite part of the day? And my absolute favorite part of the day is when my husband is home and we have had dinner usually. Sometimes it happens before, but um, it's when we are, all four of us are kind of in this living room. I'm usually sitting right about there nursing Nolan or being with Nolan now that he's here and when I was pregnant I was just too big to move um and I they're wrestling Liam and Wayne are either wrestling or playing and we're just all together right here in this space and it's the time that we're spending together and it's just the four of us sometimes the tv is on sometimes it's not and we're just enjoying each other's company so that is absolutely my favorite time of the day and that is usually when Liam is the happiest because he's got his daddy and his mom <laughs> and Nolan is talking over there so the next one this comes from um Emma and what's the hardest part about transitioning from one kid to two kids time that is all I have to say. Like right now, Liam is sleeping, Nolan's in his swing, and I'm trying to film videos. It's getting the time to do anything. Um, before I thought it was hard, but now it's even harder. Um, getting the time for each individual kid is really difficult as well. Giving them one-on-one -on -one attention when they both want you at exactly the same time. I think that's the hardest thing to transition, to get my brain around the fact that we have two and not just one. The second question is, no, well, second question from her, third question. What special things do you do, if any, to prepare Liam for baby Nolan? Um, we had a baby doll that we kind of just sat around and I would hold sometimes or we talk about, oh, baby, baby. We'd use the word baby. Um, he knew that there was a baby in my stomach. He didn't, obviously didn't get the full concept, but we would talk about my stomach. He would constantly be touching it. Um, we just talked about baby. Um, we got him a couple different books that were um, like big brother or baby related to just kind of talk about what's going to happen. He was, he, I mean, he's going to be two in ooh, a couple weeks, um, but he's just not old enough to really grasp the concept, but just using the words um, I would kind of put like crying baby noises on like YouTube every once in a while to see what his reaction was and there's no reaction. And even now when Nolan's crying, there's no reaction from him. So yeah, just talking about it. The next question is what are some baby girl names you like right now? Um, I have a few baby girl videos that I will have, um, down below. You can go check those out too, but, um, yeah, my favorite girl names. Um, I believe I have done a video on that. I love, there's so many girl names that I can't really even just say them in this video. Go check out my girl name videos that I'll have down below. Sorry if my positioning keeps changing. I have to keep getting up and giving Nolan his pacifier. So the next one is, what would you do if you were in love with a specific baby name, but your husband really didn't like it? story of our life um coming up with names for our boys was crazy crazy difficult um i wanted nolan to be landon and that just was not going to happen in my husband's 
eyes. So yeah, he became Nolan. Um, I eventually just have to say, I'm having the baby. I'm picking because you can't give me any options or you're just shooting them all down. So I feel your pain if you're going through that. Um, you kind of just have to try to come up with some kind of compromise or you say, this is what it's going to be. Get used to it. Okay, so you can tell that the angle has changed because Nolan is sleeping right here. Not even see if he, sure if you can see his little feet. But that way he can sleep soundly. We'll see if he actually completely falls asleep. Um, he was getting pretty antsy in his um, swing. So, on to the next question. Which is, tips on staying on top of housework with a toddler and a new baby. OMG. Got yeah, a whole time for a whole a whole video <laughs> about this. But yeah, it's hard. Um, I know that I have to do at least one load, if not two or three loads of laundry every single day. Now, um, obviously on the weekends, I try not to do too much laundry. This is more during the weekday when my husband isn't home and we're not off doing things. Um, but yes, I need to do laundry every single day, multiple loads and the boys are only babies right now. It's only a toddler and a baby. I don't even have teenagers yet. Yet I find that I have to do so much laundry. When it comes to like tidying up the house and whatnot, that kind of takes the back burner most days. Um, obviously if someone's coming over, I need to tidy up really quick. Um, I make sure to try to clean up at least all of Liam's toys that are down here, put those away, clean up the kitchen, and that makes me feel better. Um, I need to come to terms with the fact that my house looks lived in and that's just how it's going to be until the boys can help clean up after themselves because I am so busy, as you can tell, trying to film this video and Nolan is not cooperating. Um, I'm busy all the time. So just trying to keep kind of a schedule, a cleaning schedule would help. Um, I need to get better at that come the new year when I am good and in the swing of being a mom of two, I am going to try to get a good cleaning schedule. And once I do, I will definitely film a video about that to tell you guys how that is going. But yeah, you just have to try to take the time, make sure you do something every single day. Um, otherwise it'll all pile up on you and it'll be crazy hard to get back into the swing of things. So <laughs> Nolan is going crazy, but I have one more question. What are your go-to toddler meals? Um, my go-to toddler meals have changed quite drastically. Um, Liam has become very picky, like extremely picky about things. He learned the word no and ew, gross. And yeah, he's now associated that with food. If something does not taste right to him, it's ew, gross. Even though it's something that he absolutely loves, say tomatoes, that's the new thing. He loves tomatoes, but he learned, ew, gross. And so if something doesn't taste exactly right or how he thinks it should taste, he does the ew, gross, and he spits it out and sometimes throws it. Yeah, we're trying to work on that. But um, when we have dinner, he gets some of what we are having along with other things. I try to make sure that there's always some kind of fruit, some kind of vegetable, and some kind of protein. Um, then obviously there's like, if he has macaroni and cheese, then he's getting like the pasta and whatnot for carbs. Um, but I try to just add, he loves frozen peas. I'll put those on his plate. Um, obviously mac and cheese, chicken nuggets, hot dogs, the typical little kid things he loves. No land. <laughs> um, I'm almost done. Um, he loves to dip things. So anything that he can dip into ketchup or whatnot, absolutely loves it okay now back to what i was saying um we've got little nolan here with me now but yes it is pretty much anything that i can get in him to eat i will give him obviously i try to keep it as healthy as possible um yeah it changes day to day with that child um, i'm hoping that this one's a better eater liam used to eat anything and everything i could give him exactly what we were eating and he would eat it no matter what it was but he hit a little about a year old and that stopped so yeah we just try to do something healthy um he loves to snack so if i can kind of make it seem like he's snacking while he is eating dinner or lunch or anything breakfast is our absolute best he will eat 
so much for breakfast. So I try to get as much in him, like the little pancakes. He loves oatmeal, fruit, tons of fruit. Um, he loves bananas and strawberries and everything like that. So um, he also eats pouches. So I don't know if you guys know that baby food comes in pouches. Well, he loves pouches. So I get the um, Gerber Organic and I just get tons of different varieties. Obviously not the little baby, like the little ones. It's all the mixed fruit. It's like the last stage, I think. Um, and he loves those. He absolutely loves them. So I take, those are easy to take places. He will have like a couple a day sometimes if I let him. Or like the applesauce in the pouches and all different things like that. He absolutely loves them. Okay, there you have it. This was kind of an all over the place video, thanks to this one, but I am a mom of two now and it is crazy all the time. So thank you so much for those who left me questions. Like I said, if you have any more questions, just leave them down in this video and I will make another Q&A that is a little bit more controlled, hopefully. Um, yeah, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, leave us a comment and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.